Hey everybody, what is up? It is me, Jay here, and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be reacting to Britney Spears' album titled In The Zone. You guys have been requesting this a lot after I reacted to her album Blackout. So I'm not gonna even rumble too much, so let's play that intro. So track number one is Me Against The Music featuring Madonna. All the people in the crowd grab a pop and take it down. Me against the music, it's just me and me. Okay, it kind of has like that 2000 feel to it. I mean, it was cute. That was a bop. Um, I'm not trying to diss Madonna or anything because, you know, Madonna is a motherfucking pop queen, a motherfucking pop legend. But, girl... Ooh, you know what song I like by her? I think it's called Hung Up or something like that. It was really popular. I love that song by Madonna. It remind me of Cheetah Girls, but it kind of reminded me of like how, you know, that Cheetah Girls era with like the R&B music. Because R&B music fucking died. So the next song is I Got That Boom Boom. Now, hey, we finna go to the club and get crunk with Britney. Hey. Oh, hold the fuck up. do like what Britney did because I feel like Britney kind of went from pop and then she kind of transitioned to R&B um that R&B kind of like urban sound like I don't know like so the next song is Showdown <laughs> I just knew that girl, this urban sound, R&B, it's, it's for Britney, like it suits, like when she does it, it's like, she's that bitch. Like, not just R&B, because Britney does have a really good pop catalog, but I think that, um... So the next song is Breathe On Me. Okay. Okay. Give me poetry. Like, girl, Britney was, bitch, in the bedroom. 
She was giving me everything. Like, girl, I'm really living for Britney. Like, when Britney gives me that seductive, when she gives, when Britney is seductive, Britney, I'm living for her, period. Girl, this is a song that, this is a power bottom song. Like, I don't care what anybody says. This is that power bottom anthem. Girl, all my bottoms out there, this song was made. So the next song is Early Morning. say my favorite line of this is I was shaking my ass in the early girl she was shaking her ass in the motherfucking morning at 6 a.m. when the bitch had to go to school okay she was like girl I don't give a fuck I'm finna shake my ass like girl so the next song is fucking iconic it is a song that that everybody should know if you don't know this song then girl what are you doing with your life it is a song that should have went number one but America is so fucking stupid that they did not make this song number one and fuck them girl this song is toxic This song, Toxic, like I said, it is the number one that got away. Does that make sense? Um, so Toxic, it's really good. Like, I really do like this song because it's just so iconic. Like, it just makes me want to beat somebody's ass that did something wrong. This song is like, fuck you, but I need you. Like, it's like you're toxic, but you know, I fuck with you because I just can't get enough of it. You know, it's just, it's so iconic. So the next song is Outrageous. Outrageous. She is really that bitch. Like, ain't nobody fucking with her. You need to, you, that next album you drop, you, you give me something, girl. Like, she needs to work with, like, not Will I Am, because Will I Am, I think he did one song from her and it was called Work Bitch. DJ Mustard. DJ, no, who else could she work with? Um, DJ Khaled, DJ Mustard, I don't know. There are so many people that she can work with and she would probably fuck it up. So the next song is Touch of My Hand. <laughs> Touch of my hand, 
it's obviously a self masturbation anthem and since we're here for it like we don't we don't judge nobody for masturbating this album is so cohesive like it's really staying to that one sound but it's still giving you so many sounds if that makes sense I kind of got the hint that it was going to be a masturbation just by the title, girl. It's not that hard. So the next song is The Hookup. Imagine if this had a Sean Paul feature. Just get get on the floor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Her breathing is. Fuck it up, bitch. Fuck it up, bitch. So this song, the hookup, is giving me fucking dusty wine and Sean Paul. It's just giving me, you know, that kind of like, you know, you in the club, bitch, you just dusty wine in it. And like, I'm surprised this wasn't more popular because that sound was really popular in the 2000s, especially because that's when Sean Paul was like really big. But girl, this album really has a lot to offer. So the next song is Shadow. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do that. It's only your shadow. Okay. It's only your shadow. Nobody else. It's only your shadow. It's only your shadow. Nobody else. It's only your shadow. Okay, Brittany. Well, that was really refreshing to hear Britney slow it down on this album because everything so far has been kind of like, you know, club anticipated, you know, club bangers. And she's really slowing it down as we progress to the end of this album. And bitch, I'm so here for it. Like, Britney, give me that versatile. Give me what an artist is supposed to give you with the album. You know, you show show the girls that you can, you can have a bitch dancing, but at the same time, you can have a bitch crying. Okay, girl? That's an artist. So the next song is Brave New Girl. So this song, Brave New Girl, it is definitely one of the poppiest tracks on this album. It's not really like urban like the other songs and I'm here for that. Like once again, we need like an album that's going to, you know, show off different, you know, show that Britney can do different genres but still have an album so cohesive. This album is so good. Like we are, every time is the last track after Brave New Girl because I'm not going to listen to the remix because I'm pretty sure it's some kind of like club remix or whatever. I really don't care for it. So the final and last song is Every Time. This reminds me of Celine, like a Celine Dion Titan. I don't 
mean this in a bad way, but I never thought that I could see Britney singing a beautiful ballet like this. But you know, with this song, she sounds fucking phenomenal. Her voice sounds flawless. And I'm here for it. Okay, like, I was not expecting this. Like, girl, Britney went in that studio and she was like, hold the fuck up. Let me show the girls that although I can, you know, shake my ass on stage and give y'all choreography, I can give your ass a ballad real quick, too. March, April, May, June, July. Bitch, I got five months till I move out. Y'all pray for a bitch. Anyways, this album, In The Zone, is fucking flawless. This is Britney at her best once again. Um, yes, Blackout is my favorite album, like I said. Um, but this is good. This is this is right up there with Blackout. Like I feel as though, as I keep listening to this album more and more, it's only going to grow on me more and more because it it has those club bops. Like I got that boom boom. Um, what else is a club bop? Outrageous. Let me look because there's so many club bops. Um, the hookup girl. That's definitely a dusty one about. Breathe On Me is definitely my favorite song on this album, girl. That is a power bottom song. I don't care what none of you guys say. That is going to be my song. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to Britney's album, In The Zone. If you all want to see me react to any more of her albums, please comment down below. And you guys know that I will gladly get that out to you. Anyways, you guys, I'm not going to ramble too much. And I hope to see you all in the next reaction video. I love you guys. And don't forget, if you can't love yourself, how are you going to love somebody else?